be the video series of the engine removals and replacements. This is uh, my 1986 32-foot Carver aft cabin. Uh, it has twin 350 Mark cruisers. I'm going to replace both of them. And they are midship, meaning they're uh, down here in the salon. This is the hatchway that the engines are going to have to come out of. Um, it's going to be a little challenge, but we're going to show you how to get it done. Um, this shows you where they are. That's the engine down in the hole there. And we're going to show you what we use to get it out with. This was a engine hoist that we bought from Harbor Freight. And it's an adjustable engine hoist. It's a two-ton lift. So it has no problem lifting the weight. Um, that piece there is adjustable. It slides back up inside there and it'll come out about three foot, uh, which is pretty important for reaching down in that hole um, and getting that engine. Um, probably the most important thing is how these legs are adjustable. They'll actually come off of there, but they'll fold up like that so that you can um, you know, move it around once it's down in there because you don't have a whole lot of room. And here's a video of it down inside. What I'm going to do is disconnect the transmission from the prop shaft. Now it's down there. I'm going to light it up so you can see it. It has four bolts and nuts. The bolt, I'll light it up so you can see it down there. Uh, the bolts go through them holes. The nuts on the back side, you take it loose and it'll uh, pretty much just come loose. Now here is the engine mounts. There's four of them. And each mount has two bolts and nuts in it. You just take the nuts off of the bottom side and the bolt goes through the holes and then it will release. And uh, that's really all the eight nuts and bolts is what's holding that engine in there. The starter, uh, put some blue tape over them just for protection, but it already had a rubber boot on it. So that was just extra precaution. The exhaust manifolds loose and laid them back to the side there. Um, these are the exhaust manifolds. It's showing you there's four bolts that hold it on. They go in these holes here. We'll show you one, two, three, four. And this is where they go in the engine. And you just release them and they will come loose. Um, now what we're doing is uh, since we got all the bolts loose, we're getting the engine hoist down and getting ready to uh, connect it. And we have the chain hooked up there, and we're going to show you um, how this hooks to the motor. It's got these lift points. It's got two bolts on each one of those lift points. And that chain, uh, when you hook it like that, you can buy it at any auto parts store. And then get the hoist in position, and it'll go down and hook to that chain. Now that the all the wires have been loosened, everything's taken loose, and the motor mounts are loose, transmission is loose we've got the chains hooked up here to the lift we're going to very slowly start lifting it and you can see it moving and it's literally just sitting on the uh, motor mounts at that time and it comes free here and uh, you can see it there it is it's free uh, it was just sitting on the motor mounts and we're going to take our time being very careful everybody's looking if someone sees something that's a bit dangerous they'll just holler stop or freeze and we'll stop what we're doing and um, there's a couple, I think, already decided we probably needed to get that um, engine mount on that one side off just so it'd come up between the two legs of the lift. And we're just lifting it up very slowly on some live action as we actually move it. Oh, yeah, you got a bracket on the transmission. It looks like it's tucked under the wood right there, too. Yeah, you see it? Yes. Right we'll watch that wheel. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. You're free. Hold on. Hold on. That's it. That's it. Hold on. Put the pressure. Wait a minute. Stop. Just for a sec. Just for a sec. Okay. Hold on. We're touching back here. Hold on. It is or not? I don't know. Nope, it's not. Hang on, hang on, right? What's that? That stressing noise, what is that? <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, hold on. Okay, come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's what it is. Stop. Stop. Where are we at? It's a. Uh, Easy, yeah. you can't let this fall in the hole now. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Just fix it, too. It's right on the. Yep. 
Okay, here you go. All right, stop. That's it. It's probably another wheel dropping in that hole for good reason. It eventually did. Um, we grabbed a 2x4 and used it to hoist it back up on the edge there. Um, so you just got to be careful. Have a, maybe a 4 foot section 2x4 just in case something like that was to happen. But uh, you can see us, we're lifting it. We're basically got it out of the hole, taking our time, looking. You know, everybody's paying attention. And we just continue to jack it until it comes up. And then we're going to put a piece of wood under it um, to hold it. Some measurements to make sure that it will go through the hatchway. Uh, we didn't want to hold the forklift driver up, so we decided we better take those doors off. Didn't want to do any damage to them, so just checking and double checking. Um, and getting it lined up, we got it there in front of the door and putting our chain on it so that we can hook the chain over the fork on the forklift and that will take it from the lift inside and uh, onto the forklift, and we're going to show you that. So we've got the chain uh, hooked to the chain that's on the engine, and uh, that's going to be what's going to go up on the fork there of the forklift. And he's coming in close to get ready to get in position. Um, forklift or driver is very important for a successful operation, and this guy's pretty professional. Um, I'm inside there hooking it. Um, you know, just double checking and putting a bolt shortening the chain up just a bit. Um, now what we notice on this here that is my bimini was in the way up top and I had to let it down so that he could lift higher. So that was just a screw and we got that loose. We are releasing the weight from the lift inside. You can see it going down and now all the weight is on the forklift. Uh, the chain that goes up to the fork. Um, we're going to just disconnect it from the lift inside, and then we're going to slowly start bringing out that hatchway. Um, we take our time. We just don't get in any hurry because you could do some damage here. And I'm communicating with the forklift driver, and he's uh, moving very slowly. Good operator. And just keep watching it as we uh, bring it up out of the hatchway free of the uh, boat. And he'll lift it up a little bit to make sure it clears the aft railing. And then he'll back up and uh, put it in the back of our truck so we can take it back home. Get off the boat! <laughs> <laughs> Get off the boat! Good job. Thank you.